So for today, I prepared a small agenda. First, I would like to talk on uh, our progress on V12. And then, uh, our, then there's a second point, namely uh, about how we can um, enhance our embeddings. So this default embeddings from spacing and library. And then a third um, point uh, would be how we can combine elastic search with semantic search. It's not, uh, to, it's not meant to be a technical discussion because it's impossible, but rather a kind of a brainstorm how we can um, share uh, this conceptual work, uh, which person can uh, uh, go on the web and for instance, to look for some uh, libraries or, or examples of uh, such a mixed and so on. So that first thing it's like, uh, let's let's talk about the V12 and uh, the progress on, on that. Uh, I know I talk today already with Mary and Mary is almost done with her part. Mary, that's correct. I mean, uh, kind of <laughs> getting there. Okay, cool. But like the, the, the biggest, like the, the most part is already done. Yeah, I've been able to run the pipeline function on four records. Okay. So now it's just about scaling. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, but that's good. Um, okay, so, and Dylan, how is it going with you? Uh, it's going well for me. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to start doing basically like testing on minimal records by the end of today, like Mary's doing. Um, so, yeah. And, and then I was also, yeah. I was also looking at um, kind of brainstorming and tooling around the internet on um, some way to automate like partitioning the sections. You know, we were talking about that last time, Lukash, and you seemed unsure if somebody was working on that or not, but I was kind of just doing a little research on that as something in the future. Uh, what do you mean partitioning of the section? You had mentioned, you had mentioned, you had mentioned last time, um, implementing some way to sort of predict what type ah, of yeah. what yes. each section, yes. what type of section it is. Because yes. I noticed the first the first thing I noticed when I looked at that notebook is that it's all just we're kind of just keeping a dictionary of synonyms and yeah. keeping it hard coded. But as we move new data into the pipeline, we're gonna yeah. need we're gonna want a way to sort of do that linking yeah, on, it's, in an yeah time. that's 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 correct. And actually uh, one one of the conclusions I think of that call or another one was actually that it's hard it's very difficult to predict uh labels because some uh, some uh some papers have s such a structure that there is no clear uh sections like results or methods etc and uh, there are some papers with uh, double abstract or uh, they have different kind like it's quite difficult to map every paper to the same a priori construction. So it, it may yeah. be difficult. Um, and definitely we need a talk about it, whether it's possible, whether we are going to implement it. Thank you for, for mm -hmm. some extra reading on that. Uh, and yeah. but but not for now, for now, for V12, we are, go, we are yeah, going. Yeah, no, for, that was that was like a minimum, minimal amount of research I was doing on yeah. that. You brought it up last time, so I was just curious about it. But yeah, um, yeah for V12, I've been working on that notebook just in Colab. And then uh, Slava was kind enough to talk me through some uh, environment issues I was having on getting the script to run in Docker on my local computer. Yeah, yeah. I've been there. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that, no, so no, now with, with Docker, Slava, I'm not sure. Easier. The script ends by just with just the word killed, and then I get no data frame. Okay. But now it's okay. But now it's okay. Ooh. Um, Ooh. No. Uh, I mean, yeah. just, so the, when I run the cord processing, it just ends with the word killed, and then in my shell, um, and then I just I don't have any data frame at the end of it. Or I don't have the one record that's supposed to process. Oh, okay. I mean, like, okay, the, so that, uh, then we need to talk about on Slack because now I, I cannot see it. Yeah, and, I, uh, I figured, yeah, I, I messaged Slab about it, I'm sure he'll Okay, good. Uh, Dylan, uh, Dylan, I think I've already figured out uh, what's happened. And uh, if you'll run git pull, you will get a fixed version, probably. Oh, cool, perfect. Because uh, I tried yeah. on on a few servers, 
and actually uh, I managed to set up collab today and I'll, I'm also running the same version as uh, in our GitHub and it just does work. And <coughs> if you send, uh, well, I will send you a token everybody afterwards, but uh, there is a complete process pipeline that you can run for one record and you can get uh, V12 uh, uh, files. <coughs> Perfect. Yeah, if I'll I'll pull that and um, try it out. Okay. Uh, I talk also with uh, Janos, who is also on this task, and uh, he's also working. I mean, he needs some some uh, extra time, I think. But I hope that in a couple of next days, or like tomorrow, over tomorrow, uh, we we will have uh, also uh, his part done. And once it's uh, like once uh, at least one of the notebooks for uh, data frame is ready, please uh, contact me, and uh, I'm going to uh, to try to uh, to run your notebook on the whole data set. Uh, so yeah, that, that's it. Uh, and I think. So let me ask. Also. Sorry, somebody wants to say something. Okay, no. Uh, search. Okay, so it's like progress on V12. Uh, it's it's done, and it, now and this is like uh, how to enhance the default space embeddings. Uh, there are persons who would like to jump upon this topic because we have embeddings from the space. Eh? It's like a kind of a basic kind of uh, embeddings we have, but then of course there is a huge. Um, a uh, huge uh, spectrum of possibilities how we can produce sentence embeddings uh, mm, uh, document embeddings so if somebody wants to jump upon it uh, in the sense that uh, would produce a kind of a, a more sophisticated notebook to produce those uh, embeddings so please free to uh, to share uh, your ideas around it Yeah, so um, I would just suggest that, like, on top of size spacey, um, we could probably use the fine tuned transformer that we already have available um, for sentences. Yeah. Um, I I posted something like a video of it was all data yep. in terms of it was before the whole Bar craziness in NLP. Um, for document vectors, it's a bit difficult, uh, especially because uh, you were saying, Lucas, that you wanted uh, vectors for each section. But at least for document vectors themselves, um, I would think Spectre is the best choice, aside from the issue that it's black box and we can't really run it on batch, right? Yeah, it's, so it's luckily, black box. It's really black box. I mean, because I didn't. Uh, I didn't take a closer look at, at the spectra itself. It's a black box. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's supposed to be it's like just an API. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. That's because it's well, it's quite good because it's based on uh, citations, and that's I think that's the best way to compare papers with each other, not just by summing all vectors across the whole paper but exactly a citation because it's like this net kind, net kind of network between different papers and uh, distributed ac across different clusters and it's a quite good approach to like to to uh, to judge them uh, yeah okay so i think that uh, okay so that, that the idea that we we can somehow uh, because the, your first idea iman was to to what to to use uh, so there's on the um, Google bucket there is uh, I think it's called like sentence transformer yeah and that's what I've been kind of using I think I have v8 vectors already uploaded of if you guys want to use a difference in terms of articles um, that one's supposed to be better in terms of its fine-tuned and stuff like that that's, okay yeah okay good I know because like think that I would like to try uh, once we have all v12 uh, is uh, for semantic search is would be a kind of a, that we use elastic search just to filter out documents and then on the level of the whole document we look through the document on the level of embeddings 
So for each sentence we have embedding. So when we want to have an answer to, uh, to some scientific question, then the, um, the sentence that uh, is supposed to be a kind of answer uh, will be selected. But okay, it's like a very general idea and I, I need to implement this in notebook to see whether it works or not. Uh, so if somebody would be eager, if somebody is eager to, like, to jump uh, on this topic, uh, yeah, feel free to share your ideas. When you need some extra reading, do it. Uh, the idea is just to, to have a bit more than just simple embeddings from Spacey. Uh, that's once. And, and do you have questions about it? Like more uh, organi organizational questions? No, okay. Uh, so in brainstorming, how to combine elastic search with semantic search. It's also something that I, I would just to start like to encourage you to, uh, to share your ideas if you have some and uh, to, to organize yourself in small teams like two, three persons. If you have already idea uh, how to, uh, to combine those two things. Uh, so to produce an, an, a notebook. Because I have also my ideas, but probably some of you had um, more experience with some aspects of the whole topic. So it would be cool to like to exchange uh, a bit on that. So uh, Lukash, about combining for semantic search, previously we had Wu Shanoi and Face, but um, I do kind of firmly believe that the having it in integrated with Elasticsearch is the best option, specifically yeah. just because of simplicity, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, but Slava, you were mentioning that there was some issues actually loading the vectors. That's the main blocker for that, right? Yeah, uh, resources is all, always a blocker. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what what was the specifics? Was it just because there was just not enough, like? RAM or? Yeah, look, look uh, first uh, we tried to provide a VM with eight uh, gigabytes and after we, we, we had like five people testing things and now we have 20 people and we increased <laughs> RAM uh, from eight to uh, 16 and now from 16 to 64. So <laughs> last uh, call-up version already has this amount of RAM on board. <laughs> So, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, community is growing, people are coming, and uh, everything should be increased. I hope yeah. Google will watch this video and will increase our credits yeah. as well. Uh, actually, so, I, I heard that Brandon has a problem to get back his money because he used, I mean, for the previous version of V6 or 8, he used his own account, or let me, like, his own uh, account. And now he has been charged with uh, with uh, our credits, so to say. So I mean, he paid for us instead of the for uh, with the credits that we officially got from Google. So yes, we, we don't know whether he paid or he pulled the plug before he got started being charged for that. So okay, we just need to hear from him. I hope he just like pulled the plug. I, it was my understanding that he paid for us just and the, the credits uh, didn't work. So, yeah, I mean, okay, maybe it's just my misunderstanding of his. Uh, of his yeah, we need to um, hear, we need to get Brandon on call. That's the whole problem that he is appearing, disappearing. But again, like a month ago, I had a conversation with him when he set up that bucket that way. And I told him like, okay, dude, we're worrying about the bill that's going to come. Etc. And he was like, "Yeah, no worry about this." He kind of keeps an eye on it. So hopefully, he did the right thing and pulled the plug uh, when the free credits on his account kind of yeah, sure. gets him. Yeah, sure. Okay, good. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, okay, so okay, that's something. Okay, it's, we can solve this now. I mean, in terms of uh, uh, like uh, our computer power. Uh, I'm I'm going to do my best to to try to run uh, our notebooks for data frame to produce a bit well, and then maybe it will be also possible, for instance, to 
like to index Elasticsearch on on that what I have. We'll see. I mean, we need to talk about it, but it's good that I mean it's Elasticsearch. Uh, Lucas, you want to run Elasticsearch as a service, or you want to produce index and after to as an index? Okay, because if you want to run Elasticsearch as a service on your server. Do no, it's think it's, about it's, Kubernetes and uh, no, no, no. It's impossible. Product. It's it's impossible because it's like it's it's impossible. Okay, okay. Uh, I mean, like I can I can run just for a couple of hours a kind of a, uh, just for instance to produce data, mm -hmm. but uh, so that we can have this as a, a service all the time, twenty four hours a day. It's mm -hmm. uh, it, it doesn't work. Yeah, but, but uh, we already have uh, Elasticsearch cluster. These three nodes. So okay, okay. I don't think elastic is a problem. Okay, uh, no, because you said the uh, okay. The embeddings are a problem for elastic search to build. Yes, because loading into it, right? That's yeah. what I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. No. I, my understanding was like okay. We have a general problem with elastic search that it's not enough. Uh, memory space for okay so let's think about embeddings okay good that's that's a, let's say a next point uh okay do you have any questions in general uh in terms of organization the most important so everyone knows what he is she is supposed to do okay so uh, then I, I, will, I, I, I can say that we can finish if there is no questions. Oh, I, I have a question yeah, sure. for, yeah. for uh, Maria. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you asked me about GPU and uh, I don't know where actually GPU is used in Coronavai. So can you just a little bit explain uh, why you need GPU? Probably you have some ideas how to um optimized processes so i actually um i was gonna put it out before the end of the call that i need help with potentially trying to get this stuff running in parallel mm -hmm. um if that I... is an issue and i think that i want to work on that first okay mm -hmm. so um uh, mike because i i as far as i know uh, Brandon's code uh, run already in parallel. Yes. Otherwise, we can discuss this on Slack because now it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, but okay, it's a good point. And uh, yeah, it's, it's like the whole point that we need now uh, just a working notebook and then I can run this on the, another server is that we doing multiprocessing and we can run okay. this on as many CPUs as we want, so that it, we can uh, we can get the whole data frame in like one hour, something like that, or two hours. Okay, great. Uh, so, okay, let's talk about about it on Slack. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll post what I need help with on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, and other questions? Uh, yeah, other questions. I mean, like multiple questions you you can have. Kevin Dillon was here. Imran, oh yeah, I, I have a question for Kevin. He said in, in data channel that uh, something got killed. It's, a, it's the same um, issue uh, as before, where it's like uh, uh, running the the, um, the the Python script, it just kills it. Um, it might be a hardware limitation on my side. I'm not quite sure if it is, then I'll just wait until V12 gets put on the Dataverse uh, mm -hmm. as a limitation. Um, and you load yeah. everything, uh, and Kevin. You load everything in in your notebook. I mean, like you load all data. Well, so uh, I so uh, this is all locally, but yes. Uh, and then I tried doing collab, but you can't have Docker and collab. So that's the that's okay. The, yeah, I, I mean there there is a actual like uh, one of the collab like devs is like we will, we're. Docker does not work in Collab, and it will not, will never work in Collab, as a just a design issue, a design uh, methodology on their side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they're just fair. So, okay. I'll, I, yeah. So, um, so uh, when you started process, you, I think you, you have seen that it does download from Alien AI 
um, yeah. GitHub uh, for all models, and there are a lot of gigabytes that actually should be placed in your RAM. So <laughs> it's just simple reason why Fn got yeah. killed because there is no memory, no, not enough yeah. memory. Yeah, yeah. In, in that case, I'll just wait for uh, V12 to get put on a thing to get pulled. Now I can just pull it from uh, Dataverse into Collab, but until then, I'll just wait. Then it's fine. I, I have I have better idea for you. So um, you can uh, direct you can send direct message to me, and I will provide you token for Collab server. And you can try to run your process on Collab. And okay. it has 64 GB, so it should be enough for you. All right. All right. Okay. Let's try it. Okay. Uh, next question. Yeah, I have a question for yeah. uh, building up the knowledge graphs. Um, I know that Task BT is already kind of started on it. It's for this very specific use case. But uh, Kevin, I just want to uh, see uh, what's what's kind of going on with the relation extraction. I think that's the uh, kind of the hard point, right? Yeah, I think when Punjali was trying to get, uh, or, or we were trying to get uh, a pre-existing uh, uh, annotated relations to train off of. Uh, I'm not sure where he's at on his side because I think there was like a, a Stanford extractor that he was trying to get to work or testing out. Um, yeah, there was uh, Open IE, right? That's the one. Yeah, no, that was it's something different. It was, or it might have been Open IE. I'm not sure if there's like Open IE then had like a particular like function within Open IE, but he was using something from the Stanford extractor or annotator. Uh, and then he was trying. That that was the last thing I heard from him. I'll probably just follow up on and whether or not he uh, got anything to work on that side. Um, and then I haven't had a chance to try publicly available annotated data sets um, that are available, but. Uh, I just have to probably just find one that that uh, is has the most range for our purposes because um, there's a lot of variance with those. Uh, so it's kind of just on that. Okay. There's um there's also a way to, like if you guys are struggling to find like specific uh, annotations, um, I think we it would be hard harder than just labeling normal documents, but we could Okay, Imran, sorry, excuse me, that. Imran, excuse me. Sorry for interrupting you, but uh, it's like the uh, knowledge graphs are, for now at least, a bit out of the scope for well, us. Well, gosh, they're, they're really not because, um, and like, I, 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 the reason is because like, there's a lot of people that are already kind of working on this. It's not just mm -hmm. um, working on V12 uh, in isolation. Because um, all of these things depend on you guys in terms of like the V12, right? Yeah. Um, knowledge graphs will also be interlinked with embeddings as well. So, um, and the reason why I'm, I'm yeah. bringing up this conversation is because um, there's a lot of other people working on this and they have similar questions. Okay. And uh, yeah, but then it's like, how can we now improve V12 to help uh, to better to work better with uh, knowledge graphs is it uh well i mean mm -hmm. yeah. i don't know like uh kevin if you have anything that you specifically want but i, I from what i'm seeing it seems like um named entity recognition and relation needs to be jointly done so um it would mainly be using like um just like the pre-processes and the lemmatized versions of the text. Okay. Well, so, I don't, uh, so sorry, I don't quite understand uh, what you're saying. How you can resolve this ambiguity without uh, building proper knowledge graph? It's not possible just to get something extracted from text and uh, you need actually triples to build triples. And mm -hmm. to get triples, you have to follow this pipeline, you have to build so first, you should um, send something to Bell, biological expression language, to get something back, entities. And after you should uh, go to Indra to get all statements, to produce triples. I don't quite understand, guys, what you're doing, really. Probably, um, I don't know what, what exactly this uh, library does, but uh, it seems to be it's not really a semantic approach. 
Okay, maybe uh, my proposal would be just to keep this uh, discussion on Slack because now it's like when we don't know each other's libraries or approaches or uh, like a, a precise explanation and motivation for that, we, we cannot solve this now in five minutes talk. So my proposal is in terms of a, a V12 and then uh, knowledge graphs and like how we combine this in well, how, how we can connect those dots together. My proposal is to switch to Slack. Okay, Imran, uh, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Uh, so yes, the, the, there's a, maybe a, a next organi organizational question. I mean, in terms of organization. Uh, no? Okay, so then uh, I thank you very much for, for your presence and uh, and then we will see each other um, next, uh, I mean uh, on Thursday, like in two days. So have a nice evening, morning, day, night, whatever. And uh, yeah, and uh, keep talking on Slack uh, so that we can expand on everything we, we started here uh, in more detailed uh, or detail oriented way. So once again, thank you very much and see you later. Bye everyone. Bye guys. Bye.